The British government says it has a grip on the migrant crisis at the French port of Calais. But just last night, 1,700 people attempted to break through the Eurotunnel. That's the rail line that connects Britain and France. And as Mandy Clark reports, the UK isn't just cracking down on illegal migrants, but also on those who offer them housing. It's now or never in the minds of many here. These migrants believe they have few chances left to break into the tunnel and make it across the border before the British government beefs up security. After two days, the government of British will give a soldier here to close the way. Some go in small groups. There's around 200 in this one. But lately, migrants are trying their luck in much larger numbers. They look for weak security spots, like this domestic rail track with flimsy fencing, not far from the Eurotunnel entrance. The authorities that are trying to hold them back are simply overwhelmed. Again last night, they resorted to pepper spray. Under pressure, Britain has promised an extra $14 million in security, but fencing off more than 5,000 migrants won't make the problem go away. Former French Employment Minister Xavier Bertrand blames UK policy. <laughs> they want to go in England. Why? To find a job. Because they, they know that it is possible to work without identity card. In England, you have to change your policy. France is much harder on would-be asylum seekers, making it extremely hard for them to get the right to work or rent. Britain is now promising a clampdown, warning landlords they could face up to five years in jail if they're caught renting apartments to illegal immigrants. What is being lost in this political problem is the personal desperation of those risking it all in search of a better life. Samra from Eritrea is seven months pregnant. That's the only place I think I could have humanity and human rights for the future of my child. Having come so far, they seem to be stuck in the middle between a country that doesn't want them and another that doesn't want to let them in. Mandy Clark, Global News, London.